hard is it to come in when training camps already started and do what you did and make this team? Oh, that's hard. You just got to stay dedicated, stay locked in, and just uh, focus on the task at hand for real. Chelsea, what was this month like for you, and kind of what was your mindset, you know, when they claimed you, you know, in early August, and when you came in, obviously trying to kind of hit the ground running in Green Bay? My mindset was just, I mean, I was already had a fire in me from getting cut, so, I mean, I just came in ready to uh, get my best effort and just come in and earn a spot and show what I can do on the field, basically. Oh, most definitely. I uh, mean, Preston went to the same high school from the same area. So that's kind of like big brother right there. And then all the other Mississippi State guys, so it's like family right there. I play with all those guys. So, I mean, it's a great connection. What was Preston's reaction when you walked in that locker room? I kind of laughed, but I mean, it was funny. I mean, just being here with him, just being there to learn from him and what he's done in his NFL career, I mean, it's, it's been a blessing for me. Ch Chauncey, when you got to EMCC after Georgia, and, and if someone would have told you a couple of years down the road you'll be on the Packers 53 man roster, what do you think you would have said? At the I would have believed him. You would have believed I would have believed him. Why? Just because of my hard work and my dedication to football. I mean, I love football, and I just know what I, what I can do. I know that I got a hell of a work ethic, and I just want to put out there that I'm going to grind. I mean, I know where I want to go, and I know where I want to be in life. How that uh, obviously Zedarius is also a guy who went to EMCC. How did that shape you into who you are today? Uh, EMCC did a lot for me, uh, just helping me rebuild my image, helping me rebuild my career. So I mean, I, I take my hat outs to the organization and just that football program for helping me get my second chance of uh, trying to get here. You know what I'm saying? They did a lot for me, and I did a lot for them. So I mean, it's just it's a blessing for coming through a program like that. Chelsea, this is the first time we've gotten to talk to you, so this, I'm going to ask some old questions. Mm -hmm. So the Ravens cut you on August 4th, I think, mm -hmm. right? And then these guys claim you. Can you kind of take us through getting the news that they were cutting you, realizing these guys were claiming you, and then realizing who was here? Uh, basically, uh, I get cut. I go home and just take it all in. And the next day, I talk to my agent, and I learned that Green Bay was interested in me. And from right then, I just knew that I was going to come in and just try to get my best effort. I mean, it was just, it was just kind of, it was a win-win situation for me. I mean, it was a better opportunity here to get on the field, a better opportunity just to display my talent. And it was just a blessing for me. So did you reach out to Preston right away? Like how? Uh, not really. I mean, I just wanted him to see my face for real. But it wasn't really like I just told him I was coming here. It was just like I was just taking it all in because it's a lot happening fast. I mean, I had to get here. I had to get a take a physical, all that. So I mean, it was, it wasn't really. It was so much happening. I ain't really want to talk to him. Just letting his talk all in. So then you saw him in the locker room. I saw him in the cafeteria, and we just bust out laughing. I mean, he just told me like, "Let's go." You know what I'm saying? It's, it's time to go. Chauncey, what have you just thought of Elton Jenkins and kind of what he's brought to this this team, and obviously at left tackle too, now being, you know, doing what he's been doing so far. Uh, that's something he was doing at Mississippi State, playing every position on the line. I mean, I've been battling against him since State, obviously. So, I mean, I have seen what he can do at left guard, at tackle, center. So, I mean, obviously, he's just showing the world that he can do it all. I mean, he's just, he can do it on a high level. And that's just something he knows that he can do it. He's confident. So, I mean, when you're confident in your abilities like that, I mean, he's going to show it. So, I have to him and Ira, he's going to show you. Trying to see, you know. Rob asked you about how you know how you did this. We're both really old, so mm -hmm. we've seen a lot of guys in your situation in training camps, right? Who get claimed, they're here for a week or two, and then they cut them and they bring somebody else in. And you're definitely the good exception. What was the hardest part, and what was the part that you was there a point where you thought, thought all right, I really, I really do have a shot here. I've been, I've made an impression. Uh, just learning the system. Basically, just learning the system and getting a lot thrown at you fast. And the the coach has done a great job with me, just helping me helping me learn the system day by day, not throwing too much at me, but let me pick onto it. I mean, I'm a fast learner, so it wasn't kind of hard, but it was still hard. You know what I'm saying? Because practice, it's a lot thrown at you. I mean, but it was still it was a it's a hard task for me. But at the end of the day, I just stay focused, stay locked in every night because it's a big it's a bigger picture for me. You know what I'm saying? I want to 
do big things in this league, and it was just hard work and dedication for her. So you know your work ethic. How much did Mike Smith help you? Because he's he's obviously a character that we all enjoy when he comes in here. What was he like? Uh, I love Mike Smith for real. I mean, he's he's done a number on me since I got here. Uh, just helping me with techniques, helping me with little tweaks in my game where I can get better at. And obviously, it just is it's been helpful. I mean, because I've displayed my talent, and I've made plays. So I mean, it's. He he has a good coaching technique. He has and he has coached a lot of great players. So I mean, when you when you get a guy like that who can coach you up and give you the knowledge and show you how to do it and what you're doing and why you're doing it, you just gotta listen and take it all in and just show it on the field. Sorry guys, we got time for one more. What are you most appreciative of about this whole experience? Most appreciative of the the opportunity. Uh, for real, just getting the opportunity to, to come in, in another organization and prove that I'm worth being in the NFL.